Here we go. I got the notification. I'm just waiting to see it on Facebook. And okay, nice try. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a special edition of Off the Record, the People's Podcast. This afternoon, we have two great guests uh, with us. We got Armani holding it down, and we got Shaquille holding it down. We got these are two great rap artists, and we look forward to hearing uh, you all's freestyle today and learning some more about you all. First of all, how y'all doing? Doing well, doing well. How you doing? I'm doing great. Money was perfect. Let's go. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. We surviving and sustaining. Okay. Well, the first question I got for you, Money, is uh, when did you know you wanted to be a rapper? Well, I grew up. I grew up in the islands, and when I was down there, I used to play ball. That was like my first love, and some of my homies rap, and they wanted me to get on the song one time, and I rap, but that was like it until I moved to the States. And then when I got to Georgia and I didn't get picked up on a uh, high school basketball team, I just started rapping. And ever since then, it's like, it's been history. Shit. I don't fell in love with it. Okay, cool. Naima says, peace, family. Peace, Naima. Okay, Monty, I ain't know you hooped. I, didn't, I never knew that. I never knew that was the, uh, that's what happened. I never knew that. Okay, Shaquem, when did you know you wanted to be a rapper, bro? All right, for me, it was say about like eight, nine. I just happened to be rapping, and some people just happened to be listening. And on their thing, they was just like, bro, you can rap. And it really didn't set in until I was about 12, uh, you know, kind of like rapping in a cell for real. Then I realized that I could okay. speak because I was surrounded by nothing but rappers who were older than me. So, like, because like, I suck at ball. Ain't none of that going on. This like, <laughs> <laughs> like ain't no basketballs getting thrown. None of that didn't. So rap really just like mine said, it's just a love. Like, you know, I fell in love with it and didn't really know I could do it well, I like guess. Okay. Well, Shaquem, uh, who motivated you? Like what were some of uh some of the famous rappers that would would you say inspired you? Off top one. <laughs> you, said, you said who? Wheezy, off top. Wheezy. Absolutely, <laughs> off absolutely. Top. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Wayne, off top. You know, Wayne, J, DMX, like, I listen to a lot of that in my playlist. A lot of these younger artists from the A, I went to school with. So, like, it's no shade or nothing, but, like, we all sound like that. So, I really grew up on that Wayne mentality, that DMX, that Jay-Z. Like, I'm not a Nas fan. Okay, um, okay. Welcome to my answer, Sarisa. I just recently gave you all the greetings as well. Uh, Monty, uh, who, who, who motivated you? What were some of the uh, celebrities that uh, motivated you? Well, growing up in the Caribbean, it's like all I listened to down there was a whole bunch of Calypso and like like island people music and like reggae. Music. But when I came to the States, it was like my first my first uh, like generation of artists I got put on to was like Big Sean, uh, Wale, Wiz, and those yeah. were people who inspired me. That people sleep on Big Shine. Big Shine is my favorite artist, but yeah, yeah. people sleep yeah, on Big Shine. Too, no yeah, bad. Punchline yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, my next question for you, Monty, is how did your family feel when you told me you wanted to be a rapper? Were they supportive? I guess you could say that. <laughs> it's like, I, all I did was buy like a studio set up and put it in my room, and I just got to rap them, and they ain't never come in there and, or knock me for doing it, so I, I had their support for the most part. Like my mom is damn near my biggest fan, so yeah. Hey, that's a good thing. And please yeah. give your mom some greetings. Uh, uh, Marcellus says, "Peace, fellow uh, What's going on, Marcellus? Uh, Shaquem, um, I see you with your brother. Uh, what's your brother's name? Brandon. G-Lo. Brandon. Okay, see you with your brother. What's going on, Brandon? Uh, what? Um, how? How was you outside of your brother? Did your family support you? Uh, like when I got adopted, I got adopted at a uh, 14, 13, 14. My dad had a studio in his house when I got adopted. It was okay. Okay. Why I was like, but hell yeah, get me out the system. So <laughs> when I got like, as far as that goes, I was blessed to have all the necessities coming out the system. But you know, like, you know, like Monty just said, like, ain't nobody bother me, and that in a way is a support. You know, it's kind of one of them fields where. When you a certain age, you gotta go show something for yourself before people really just, you know, jump on the bandwagon. And then sometimes people leaving you alone is the greatest support that a, that a person can offer you. It's like, you know, just let me do my thing real quick. That's really okay. Great. great. 
My next question for you, Shaheen, is what has been your greatest trial as a as an artist and how have you overcome it? Um <laughs> well, I guess one people pronouncing my name, but that's another topic. How, how do you how do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? It's Shaquem. The E is silent. Like, you know, <laughs> like okay. I don't know how many brothers I have to correct. Like you talking to a brother. This is a dude. <laughs> <laughs> but my biggest trial um would be that I have you know, the spirit, I got the spirit of the minister when I move in this in this realm of things. So you can't just tell me anything. You can't just take anything from me. You can't just offer me anything. Um, like Monty said, we set up ourselves at the shop from, from whatever needed to be done to everything that got to get done. We do it all on our own. And we went and purchased everything, got our own pocket. So the biggest trial has just been running into roadblocks that require me to bend over. And I just can't do that. Okay, now we say bend over, is that a literal term or is that like an uh, industry term? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, literally, I mean, literally, yeah, yeah. You know, I literally to bend over and share a piece of your backside, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, on everything I love, I got babies to raise with Muhammad on their name. I can't get down like that. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, me as well. I've had people want me to take Muhammad out of my name to do business with me. Like, it's not even that on paperwork. That's that, you know, Muhammad is what I've been giving through the nation. That's what I go under. And they still want me to disassociate myself from it. So, um, run, that's been one of the, it, but it ain't a trial. It's a blessing. Like, I'm proud of my name. Like, I ain't finna step down from it. But I've turned down paper money, actual, actual bread. Like, mm. not, not figuratively speaking, literally because my name had to be changed and I wasn't going for it. Okay. Yeah. And I, um, I respect that. And we respect that, and we thank you, and we rooting for you, bro, and we rooting for you, Monty, as well. Marcella says that's a blessing when you have the freedom of to experiment with your craft that allows you to be a goat. Marcella, I don't know about the uh, Big Sean versus Kendrick Lamar beef right now. I mean, uh, comparison right now, we'll deal with that on, on top five. Uh, <laughs> hey, Mimi, on, uh, my sister Miriam says, "Peace, family, peace, Mimi." Uh, and then Marcella said, "Bro, he ain't falling for the uh, Bali who." Okay, um, um, Monty, what has been your greatest trial as an artist? And how have you overcome it? I would say staying consistent, like dealing with my uh, dilemmas in the streets. I guess you could say like that. Uh, it's just, it's it's hard to remain consistent when there's so much uh, things going on outside of the studio that you gotta, that you gotta deal with every day which could influence like your inspiration, your like my writing, everything. So my hardest uh, trial or my toughest trial would be to just stay consistent and always uh, improve and like create new, new, better music. And, and, and in order to do that, I got to focus. Man. I can't, I can't allow distractions to uh, interfere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. Um, Dallas Carter said, "Shout out uh, Shaquin." He said, "You're one of his favorite artists." Marcella said, "Okay, Marcella, we're going we're going to address that." Thank you, Monty. Um, um, Marcella said, "That's real, brother Armani." Boom, perfect. Um, what has been your greatest trial? I mean, your greatest joy, uh, Monty? What, what's your favorite thing about rapping? Uh, being an artist? I would just say being able to freely express myself with like no holds barred, just to be able to write music and 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 not have no like Shaquin saying with nobody trying to offer me no money or having having to uh, create a control over my my process and just to be able to, to sit down somewhere and just play some instrumentals and, and just create and then share it, that's that that brings me true joy you know that's beautiful come on creators that stand up all right Shaquin, what's your favorite joy of you being an artist um you know, Law gonna have to help me I'm a little prideful I, I like when my clothes you know what I'm saying when when my my the ones I move with come to me with a new song and they like, bro, this sound just like something you just did, or this sound just like yeah, something. Yeah, you yeah, did. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or didn't you say such and such was on your Instagram? Like it just be little bitty things. So I like to I like to hear things that sound like me in the industry because in my eyes it's a sign from the law. Like keep going. I'm not. I don't have dreams of grand door. You know, I'm here for a specific purpose and I'm here to do something effectively, which is to sell music and get a message out there appropriately. So with that being the case, my greatest joy is when I hear me already out there. There's a lane that's being opened up for us, not just me, 
Monty, you know, Todd, there's a few folks I can name off not to leave nothing out, but there's a lane being opened for us. We just don't really see it because we kind of, like Monty said, there's a lot going on outside the studio that could just have your mind everywhere, bro. So my greatest joy is just hearing myself, stuff I'm making at home or in the studio, wherever we are, already mainstream, going platinum, going this, going that. I'm like, oh, man, we doing that already. We doing that in our sleep. Okay, excellent. My next question is for you, Monty. Uh, oh, my sister Miriam says freedom, and Marcella said he loves this interview. Great brother of ours. Thank you. Uh, for you, Monty, how is, um, where can we hear your music? Uh, well, majority of my new songs that I've been releasing lately is on uh, Audio Mac. I got some of my old stuff on SoundCloud, but you could just go to my Instagram and the link is in the bio on my Instagram at one official, one official the number one official money. And okay. the majority of my like snippets and stuff on my Instagram page, we can check them out. Okay, excellent. Uh, Brother Elijah Farrakhan says, Monty, he's shouting you out. Uh, Brother Shaquem, where can we hit, get your music from? As of right now, we got videos on YouTube, Shaquem Muhammad. We got SoundCloud, me, Shaquem Muhammad. Um, I'm supposed to have something on streaming services, but they holding us up on it due to some naming issues. So um, right now we got YouTube, Spotify, and there's something else I'm forgetting. I mean, YouTube, SoundCloud, excuse me. And there's something else I'm forgetting, but YouTube, SoundCloud, Shaquem Muhammad, everywhere. Let's get it. Okay. Well, the next, uh, Monty, we're going to start with you. And, oh, no, before we we're getting ready for the uh, freestyle when I hear everybody uh, rap. Monty, do you feel supported within the nation and outside the nation? Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel, I feel supported within and without, just generally from people that I've encountered that, that, that tell me that they rock with my music and and they like my sound and keep pushing it and keep struggling. And I genuinely feel like they they rock with me. So yeah, I feel like I got enough support. Okay, good. All right, Shaquem, do you feel supported within the nation and uh, outside the nation? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got I got a ton of brothers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So yeah, definitely in and out. Love bless us every day with something new. It's crazy. Okay, well let's get let's get straight to it because what everybody came to hear. Uh, thank y'all for watching the People's Podcast. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. We're going to put this on YouTube. Monty, we're going to start with you. Let's go. All right. Um, I say, listen twice as much as I speak. Surely you'll learn if only you see. Don't get me wrong. Ain't trying to preach. Just kicking game like did to me while I write my history. Since a young and G, running records through these streets. That's just my personality. Yeah. We be up from night until the morning. Man. Got no time for sleep. No time for young, man. All I know is family, we don't do friends. Loose lips sink ships, cut loose ends. I determine my bottom line. If I don't work, I don't survive. So, you know, on my side, we bake pies and multiply. I love calculating, add it to divide. Hustle till I die, money bona fide. Keep one in this chamber full clip. Make sure she's stainless music, my weapon of choice. But I got haymakers for haters. Gentrification represents your generation. Can't even call my soul old. It's more, more like ancient. Ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Nobody thought I'd rise. Ain't shit you can't get done once you got God on your side. Ops plot and I'm ready for whatever. Pop my shot. I ain't gonna miss you. Won't no smoke. Won't no issue. My gangster ain't artificial. Never needed a pistol. Just a real to keep fishing. Survival mm. love fitness. I see you at the finish. I do this out of love. Don't do this for the critics. Send my things far up above. Those blessings are splendid. Yeah. Hey, yeah, okay, bro. bars, bars. All right, yeah, let's go. Bro. Let's get into it. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, that's your key. You'll close this out, bro. Okay. All right, I got it. I got it. Let's see what I come up with. Let's see what I come up with. All right. It's all by design. Whipping the willy, feeling dizzy, praying and steering the line. Up in the morning at five. I can't be bothered. I'm talking to God. Asking the largest to give me a sign. Asking my friends to give me some time. They ask for too much when they hit up my line. I got a 40 and I got a nine. Shout out my dad. I don't speak with my mom. Walk in the hell. I walk through with the guard. Disappear like a fucking mirage. Reappear in the middle of March. I done chop tall like an Indian. That's 122nd with the gentleman. All of my niggas is militant. Corporal status is minimum. Hit them up. Woo and me go split the difference up. I'm getting nerd just a Dominican. Working on me, I ain't fitting in. Perky working in my system, I'm limited. I came on the bars and miswork like an idiot. Work around some nurses who feeling them. Head in the office like Clinton here. I'm getting every dollar that they printing here. Welcome to hell, I came back, but I'm visiting. Angel from God like Jabril in them. 
thermostat reading that heat in there. This is a chick in my wrist is just killing it. Two hours inside the, and I'm still in it. Asian chick with me got a ninja stick. Try if you want, you get hit with some ninja shit. 40 and five like Kaepernick. I'm going up, make that boy do a back and flip. Take it back down like the motherfucking mattress. Hold up, wait, what's the price on the pressure? Hold up, wait, I make some time on the schedule. I'm in the footsteps, I'm following legends. You only doing what niggas will let you. I'm starting to notice my steps getting heavy. If I got to stand for my section, I'm ready. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know? Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right, everybody, everybody, everybody saying bars. Everybody saying bars, bars, bars. And he's going to snap fire emojis. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Mimi, Naima, uh, Rashad, Marcellus. Uh, peace, brother Raymond Gilliard, brother Jahad. Thank you for always showing love. Uh, man, that's how y'all represent. I put my stamp on it. We're gonna put it on YouTube. That's how you represent. Uh, hopefully, one day the creatives can all. I can. Um, I just want to be a, a the plug to try to unite y'all, man. So y'all can do music together, man. I want to see everybody yeah. unite, man. I want to see y'all unite yeah. music together. We need that. All right. Thank y'all for watching the People's Podcast. Thank you, uh, Shaquem, for coming on and killing it. Thank you, Monty. For always killing it. And you know, for y'all who didn't know, Monty's family, so that's what it is. It's my nephew. I love right. him. Uh Shaquille's my Shaquille's my brother, but your Shaquille's really my brother, brother because of Rashad, because Rashad is like me and Shaquille working on me and Shaquille working on something. Me and Shaquille working on something. So yeah. So uh thank y'all for coming on. Keep representing and make sure everybody supports y'all music. Um man, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank y'all for uh, watching everybody. All right, so thank, like, you. thank you for inviting, huh?